Hi guys, so today we are diving into a content dashboard slash creator operating system that I started building inside of Tana. Um, I actually originally started building this system inside of another application called Smart Suite that I've been trying out uh, recently. Um, but I'll get into Smart Suite, the same workflow that I built in Smart Suite next week. Uh, but today we are going to look at what I have done so far inside of Tana. This process would have been born pretty much out of frustration because I wanted to really streamline my video creation process and I wanted to make sure that I had somewhere that I can go back to get links, whether it was of a cover image, a thumbnail, anything like that. I just wanted to have somewhere where I can write scripts and see where I am at in the creation process for whatever piece of content um, that I am currently working on. So that's where the system was born out of. And uh, let's dive into just an overview of it. And then we'll have a look at the super tags and then we will go a bit more in depth. So the first uh, part of this dashboard is my projects. And I've pretty much defined projects. I should probably say this first. This system is really more so tailored to myself, just on how I work. But I am trying to tweak it so that it can be used for anyone who is creating content, whether it's uh, on tweets, newsletters, uh, videos, uh, articles, and blog posts. Um, so that's why I don't have a template readily available for you yet. I'm still working through with this and seeing what works best um, for these types of projects. So when I say project, I am really referring to um, a video. And I didn't call the tag video because I realized that uh, most of my content begins as a video idea or a template idea, but then I want to also make that into an article on Medium or a blog post. Um, tweets will then come out of that. And of course, it will also be mentioned in my newsletter. So all of these things are kind of, um, all of these types of content are really related. And I just wanted to have uh, one super tag that all of this comes under. And that's why I went with project. Right, so I have um, the projects here and it's just grouped by um, status. I have a list of tweets and it's just sorted by um, tweets that I've already published at the bottom and then at the top things that I am, um, ideas that I have or anything like that to be published. Um, I have newsletters, so my newsletter has been failing uh, tremendously um, because I just have not had the time to write it but I want to start back uh, especially this week uh, so that's why I have newsletters here and it only has one issue I would have written all of my other newsletters I only have three issues out currently and that I wrote directly inside of Substack so that's why you don't see anything else here I have a space for digital profile links so I've realized that a lot of the times, um, if I have to add a link, whether it's to a new profile, whether it's a link in bio, um, I kind of just ended up typing in uh, whether it was Twitter, YouTube, and going to my homepage um, or to my profile and then getting the link from there. So I just wanted all of the links to be in one place. And that is essentially what this uh, table, um, that's the purpose of this serves. I do have a list for ideas and it's sorted by um, type of idea or project that's associated with. I have a planning table here and um, this is essentially where I will come in, change the status of whether it's a project, newsletter, tweet, um, add a due date, uh, add a published date and add the published day, which is then going to show up in my schedule which is here. Um, I've chosen to leave the schedule as a list that is grouped by the publish D. Um, but you can also do this. Um, you can easily change it to cards. 
and then you have a nice little um, board for you, uh, card for you for all of your content. But I didn't, as I don't have that much content scheduled in right now, I just decided to leave it as a list that is grouped by date. So sort of a c content calendar as far as you can do inside of Tana. You can also group this not by publish date, but you can even group it by the publish date right and then it will actually have that date so that's another option let's get into the super tags that um, are all being used inside of this system so we have an idea super tag and this is very simple as i would have told you it's just once i have an idea i can come in use the tana quick entry quick add feature and just tag it as an idea and i'm going to see it coming up in my ideas dashboard the type, as I said, is really sort of an area or project, the, the projects that I'm currently working on. Um, and this is just, again, highly personalized to my, to my own needs and what I'm currently working on. So that's the idea. Then we have projects. And this is the main, uh, this is the main super tag. And it contains uh, quite a few things. Uh, we have a start date, we have a publish date, these are um, dates uh, fields. I have a primary content type and this is an options list uh, because as I said, my content begins either as a, a thought, well it, everything begins as a thought, but what I mean is that I'm either primarily wanting to distribute this as a template or as a video or as an article primarily but in most cases it is a video idea or a template idea that i then also make a video on and then i will transform into an article x transcript into an article etc so i have a main or primary content type here i have a main link so if I were to select, um, let's say video, my main link would be the YouTube URL for that video. I have a node for resources that I've kept empty because I don't always have resources um, or things that I source or need to link in the description for a video. Um, and now we go into some really nice um, checklists. And as you may know, I am checklist crazy. I love checklists. I even wanted to make all of these checklists, but I decided to um, restrain myself and not do that. So let's go into the YouTube checklist here. Um, so I have script, film, edit. This is basically the process that I follow my workflow when I am editing, well, when I am creating the, the type of content, which is a YouTube video. Um, so I'll write my scripts here. Once I've filmed, edited, uh, I have included a link. So if I click here um, on upload, it's going to, it's supposed to take me directly to YouTube so that I can drag and, and drop that, that, um, that file here one time. Um, I have title ideas. I do have a description. And this is kind of just like the default description where it begins uh, so I have that here as a starting point and then I'll add in my timestamps etc I have create a thumbnail this is going to link me directly to canva where I do all of my youtube uh, thumbnails and uh, after that I have schedule on youtube and add timestamps and I am basically finished with the video um, or at least with preparing the video um, for scheduling and publishing on YouTube. So this is really what I was doing inside of Smart Suite. Smart Suite has a really nice progress bar um, that you can do for checklists. And I liked that aspect of it, but I don't really need it per se. I just, um, inside of Tana, and I'll show you an example with my last video, how I would have planned it out. I just need to see where I am in this process. So that's uh, YouTube. Um, the same for template. This is my workflow for creating a template, whether it's Notion uh, or Tana. Well, Tana may have a different process, but this is at least what I've been using for Notion. I have a workflow for articles. This is going to link me directly to Medium so that I can um, copy and paste the article here. 
and uh, this is going to link me directly to my blog in WordPress where I can go ahead and uh, um, put the article there. I do have an, a space for attachments so I can drag in my uh, thumbnails and my cover images. I have a space for links. So this would be the links associated with this whatever piece of whatever the project is, right? So if it's a YouTube video, of course, I'll have a YouTube link and I will also have a Gumroad link and the article is here or there if I have the time to actually do those. Uh, linked to the projects as well, I have tweets. So this is going to show me all of the tweets that have this project, this project here as um, the parent. So I'll show you how this works, but basically when I tag anything as a tweet and I add the, I can show you right now actually, when I tag anything as a tweet and I add the project as whatever the project is. So let's say this is a project and this is a tweet. If I have the project as a project, so I select that, it's going to show up here under tweets, right? So it's just linking any um, thing that I tag here in this uh, search query for tweets so that everything again is in one nice place. And I have the same for tasks. Sometimes um, a project is not, it does not only have these uh, checklists that are sort of predetermined and um, the, this default, but it has, it may have some other tasks that I don't have or that are unrelated. Um, I can always link those to this project as well. So that's, that's it for project. Um, I didn't go directly into the Xtupita configuration, but you can see it here. Um, all, everything that I tag as a project, the status is by default going to go to my key and everything else is as I would have shown you from before. You can see tweets here as well. I have a published date. I have a published day. So that's going to show up in my schedule and I have the project. Um, I haven't really been adding the URLs for my tweets because, uh, um, I think, uh, if my accounts get deleted or something that I won't have the URL anyways, but, um, it may be useful. Um, I may find a use case for adding the URL to the tweets inside of Tana as well. And last but not least, we have the newsletter and uh, a newsletter is simply going to have a publish date as well as a distribution checklist. Um, so I'll share it to Twitter and Instagram and then I'll start writing the newsletter here. The reason why this super tag is so bare and it doesn't really have anything is because I'm still trying to figure out the layout that I want for my newsletter. I can show you what I mean if I come across to newsletters here, you'll see for issue four, which I hope to publish on Sunday, I've already started to type in the what I want to see in the newsletter. And I have some kind of categories um, that I want inside of my newsletter. So weekly highlights. So, and the good thing about this is that when I'm on my today page, I can simply add mention this newsletter and it's going to reference it here. And I'm going to be able to see anything that would have been referenced uh, and anything that I want to ultimately include inside of my newsletter. So this is a real work in progress, um, but as I continue to write more, um, I will be able to tweak this process better. Um, I'll show you into the projects. So this would have been last week's um, project. Uh, you can see that I have all of this information filled out. I have the main link um, under resources. I have uh, um, Investopedia, which I would have used. I had my script here, um, well, all of my different scripts because it was quite a few different videos that I would have um, made for, for all of the Pythagoras videos. Um, I have the description that I would have used uh, inside of the main video description and everything else is was pretty much the checklist. Uh, so as I went through, I just started to tick things off and um, I did not write an article uh, so that's why there's nothing there. 
and um, I have just two of the Gumroad images uh, for um, Pythagoras here. I didn't bother to put the rest of them in. They're already inside of Canva. Um, I didn't really see the need, but um, as I make them, the key is as I make them to just drag them in here or drag the link, even the Canva link, I can do that as well. I do have some links. Uh, so these would be important links to the actual YouTube videos, um, as well as to the Gumroad um, product. And I have the tweets that were associated with this project as well. So that's, that's now you have a better idea of how the project super tags look. Um, as I said, tweets uh, work in progress as well, but I mean, it's pretty basic. It's just whatever I think I'm up. I'm pretty bad at scheduling tweets just because I kind of do things in the moment. Uh, but maybe I can uh, attempt to, to do that in the future. Um, but yes, uh, I think I really went through and I explained everything. Uh, I hope to uh, make this process better and have a template ready for you guys. Please let me know if you have any suggestions, any comments or any um, remarks about the uh, content dashboard. Is it something that you're interested in um, so that I can go ahead and uh, make a template available for you? I will see you next week where we talk about uh, the same kind of planning process, but introducing a new tool, which is SmartSuite.